Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last session, so we discussed what is the size of pointer. In this session, we will see one more important topic in a pointer's concept. So, that is what is called by value and what is called by reference. Call by value and call by reference. The definition I will explain with the help of example, then you will get more clarity. So, to execute means what to explain this call by value and call by reference. I am taking the topic uh, swapping of two numbers, swapping of two numbers. We know already how to swap two numbers. See once again. Here it is the concept is call by value. Here, so I am taking the main method void main method. Here I am declaring two variables a value 10 b value 20. So, a and b gets memory allocation inside the main method. So, here it is a frames also we are writing main frame this is main frame inside that a gets memory allocation at some location and b gets memory allocation in another location and the values 10 and 20 10 and 20 here we are printing printf before swap so before swapping i am just printing a value and b value tab space it will give a value we are printing tab space b value we are printing a comma b 10 20 it will print before swap only just to understand we are printing we are displaying on the console next we are calling a swap method or swap function we are passing a comma b a and b nothing but values a and b are values call by value means calling a function by passing value as a parameter. Here we are writing swapping logic swap and here it is we are passing two integers a and b are integers. So, to collect that two arguments we need to declare int x and int y. Sir, can I take a same variables a and b? No problem. You can take a and b also. Okay. So, whenever we call the swap function, right, swap function gets memory allocation. Inside that, arguments are local variables. X and y gets memory allocation. Here, swap function gets memory allocation x and y at some location 7002 and here it is whenever we are passing a and b a value will be copied into x b value will be copied into y 10 will go and store into x 20 will store into y and next to perform swapping operation anyway we take the help of a temporary variable so, here it is we are declaring a temp variable temp x value we are storing x value temp gets memory allocation we are storing x value what is the x value is a 10 10 will go and store here and next into x we are storing y value what is the y value 20 so we will go and store into x. 20 here and next into y we are storing the value temp we are storing the value temp temp value 10 will be stored into y so swapping completed already we discussed this logic so this is once again once the swapping has been completed if you want to print printf after swap after swap slash t percentage d slash t percentage d 
x and y we are printing. What is the x value? Is it 20? What is the y value? Is it 10? So, after swap, it will print the values 20 and 10. Yes, swapping completed. But here it is once the swapping has been completed, from here the control come to here. Once execution is over, the control back to main. After execution of every function, so control definitely back to main function. Control back to main. Here after swapping function calling, here I want to print. Here I want to print after swap message after swap slash t percentage d slash t what we have to print a b or x y a b or x y this is the problem and this is the question here suppose if you print a and b a and b values still 10 and 20 only that is the problem next one sir suppose if you are printing x and y x and y are the local variables of a swap function. Local variables of one function, we cannot access from another function. So, this is the problem in a call by value. Here, according to terminology, main function is called a calling function. Swap function is called a called function called. In a call by value, in the called function, if you process the data, that will affect only local variables of that called function only. It will not affect calling function variables. So, once you process the data in the called function, once you process the data in the called function, that you can access only within the called function. Here only you can access x and y you can print here. But whenever we are trying to access from the calling function, it is not allowed. This is the main problem in a call by value concept. To avoid this problem, what is my requirement? Sir, after processing anywhere in the application in any function, I want to access from calling function as well as from the called function. To avoid this problem, to rectify this problem, they introduced the concept of a call by reference concept. They introduced call by reference, right? What is that call by reference? C. So, what is the advantage of a call by reference, right? So, over call by value. Here, same swapping program I am using, but pointers concept I am using in this first. So, as usual, we are writing main and here it is in the main function. I am declaring as usual two variables with a value 10 and b value 20. a and b gets memory allocation here it is in the main function a gets memory allocation and b gets memory allocation with the values 10 and 20 and same story we are printing before swap before swap i want to print uh, a and b values by giving tab space between a and b we are printing next now, I am calling a swap function. It is not a call by value. It is called by reference program. Reference means address. So, we need to pass address of each variable. A address, B address. Here, address of A, address of B. This is call by reference call by address. Here, swap function logic we are writing. 
sir what type of variables holding address pointers because here we are passing addresses address of a address of b sir a is of type what integer so typed pointers only we have to declare integer data is pointing by integer pointer only integer pointer x integer pointer y sir prototype observe the prototype void function name is a swap it is taking two arguments integer pointer type arguments are integer pointer type while writing the prototype no need to use the variable names only what type of data it is expecting enough so here swap function is taking two arguments of type integer pointer same story address of a will be copied into x address of b will be copied into y so here a swap function gets memory allocation swap function x and y gets memory allocation and along with that of course a temporary variable also to perform swap operation and this is main is called a calling function and a swap is called a called function called function now the 10 will not go on store what value will go on store 2046 2046 will go on store into x so that it start pointing to this one using pointer next y value will go on store into this one i mean b value address of b value 4058 then it stop start pointing to this one using pointer instead of copying data in call by value we are copying the data na 20 and 10 but now we are copying address reference we are copying 2046 and 4058 we are copying 2046 and 4058 we copied observe here with the help of that temporary variable we are declaring but into temporary variable in the previous program i am storing x x value is a 2046 i do not want to store address because it is not a pointer variable i want to store 10 the value which is inside the address who will give the value which is inside the address pointer pointer x x value is a 2046 pointer to x value is a 10 10 will go and store into 10 next pointer to y value will be stored into pointer to x y value 4058 pointer to y value is this location 20 that we are collecting and storing into pointer to x x value 2046 pointer to x means what the 20 will go and store into this location 20 next temp value we are storing into pointer to y what is the temp value is 10 pointer to y means what it is pointing to this location so here it will affect observe very clearly where we are processing the data means in the called function where the data changes in a calling function here you are processing but here it is changing the data that is a call by reference because there is a connection between a calling function and called function just because of call by reference concept because of call by reference concept here after swapping i want to print here after swap percentage d percentage d how to print it's not x and y because x value is 2046 y value is a 4058 i want to print a swapped values 20 and 10 pointer to x 
pointer to y. This is printing in the called function. The same value I just want to print in the calling function also. Same story, right? After execution of a called function, definitely control back to main. Control back to main. So, in the main function, now I want to print after swap. After swap, what we have to print? A, B, you can print. A, B, we can print. Reason here it is A value already has changed 20 and B value is also 10, right. So, advantages of a call by reference means we are passing address to another person. So, in the called function, whenever we process the information that will affect in the calling function only. So, that uh, after processing the information, if you want to access the processed information in the called function, you can access here, here you can access and once the control back to the calling function, here if you want to access, yes, here also you can access, anywhere you can access. This is the advantage of a call by reference over call by value. Hope you people enjoy this session, right. In the next session, we will see some more examples on pointers. For more videos, please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you.